Guys, this Willis Jeep by Rock Hobby was released in July 2020. It doesn't seem that long ago that this thing came out. It's awesome. And since it's come out, there's been a couple of accessories. One of them is this trailer, and the other one is a gun, and it's a new gun for this. So we're gonna have a look at these accessories, and then it's a really nice day outside, so we're gonna take it down the quarry and give it a good scale run. So this came out in July 2020. I've recently got hold of this trailer, and the gun, and also Mr. Diesel. Not whistling diesel, this is the OG Vin Diesel. So we'll get that out in a minute, just first. So that doesn't come on it, I've rolled that up there, but that's got a fabric roof like the real one. You can buy that separately as well, and I think it looks actually pretty cool. And with the one six scale figure in there, it fits no problem. So what I recommend doing when you get these, they come really, really bouncy. I've put 50 weight oil in here, but um, the oil it comes with, it's like water, it's not even really, I wouldn't even say it's oil, it's probably like 15 weight or something like that. But I put 50 in, it makes it much better uh, when you're driving around. So that's a, another top tip. So it does come ready to run, you just have to supply a battery, it comes with a transmitter, it's got a 550 motor, it's got a Hobbywing 1060 ESC, it's got a servo operated steering wheel as well, so the steering wheel turns, and overall, it is very nice. The only thing that people don't like this has got standard like springs, like McPherson struts. So the real Willys Jeep would have leaf springs. However, having this setup makes it way more capable uh, when you're crawling around and trailing around. Anyway, talking of trailing around, let's have a look at the trailer. Scale M100 trailer. I'm going to leave links to all of this in the description. I've not actually got this out of the box yet, so some fixings there. There's your towing arm. And there's the trailer, oh, it's really nice. That is very nice. Whoop. So it's all the same stuff as on the, the Jeep. Got some nice markings on there. I don't think these lights work. There is holes in the back though, so you can get them working if you want. There's a little, little storage box there. This looks really cool. So I presume this goes on like, like that. And then these screw in. Nice. Um, this came in the box. I had loads of stuff in that box. That's why it was already open. This looks like a metal tow hitch. Now, I'm gonna guess it comes with this, but I'm not 100% sure. But the detail, like the VIN plate and stuff on it, that's a nice little, uh, nice little touch. Ugh. Wow, that is tight. Well, that fits in there better than that other one came out. <laughs> Ta-da! There it is, that looks so cool. I've uh, stiffened the rear springs up a little bit, so I've wound the springs down a bit just to keep that back end up. It was sagging a bit. Goes on there, no problem at all. Then you've got these little like chains that hook onto there, I guess, to stop it from running away if it comes unhitched. But that is a cool little add-on. It's gonna look so good driving along. Anyway, let's look at the gun. So this is the newest addition to this. Um, the trailer's been out a little while. So this is the V2 the newest one. I'd like to tell you what kind of gun it is, but <laughs> I don't know. Comes in a nice package, as most stuff does from Rock Hobby and FMS. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Wow. How good does that look? Get your little ammo crate. It's handy for keeping your uh, scale lipos in. You also get some rounds, what are they, 50 cal? Very nice. I always say that how things are presented in this hobby make a big difference, and that is a really nice um, case. The only issue I can see is it's a bit too close to the driver, and he is a one six scale driver, even if he was a bit shorter. It's, it's a very, very close. Obviously the gun does turn, so you could point it slightly in that direction, but it's in. It looks really good. It's got loads of detail on it. Look at that, that looks so cool now. Right, anyway, let's take this thing out. Let's go and get some cool shots of it. Let's go back to the 40s. Nice sunny day at the quarry. I love how this Jeep looks. I just absolutely love it. Especially with all that new equipment on it. So it's got a 3S in it at the moment. It will run 2S or 3S. But 3S just gives it that little bit more wheel speed uh, if you need it. That trailer looks really good on the back. It's got some really nice leaf sprung suspension on it. It's a shame the uh, Jeep doesn't, but 
like I mentioned, the Jeep performs so well with the suspension setup it's got. I think if it had um, leaf springs on it, you wouldn't get the uh, the same performance out of it and it maybe wouldn't be as uh, nice to drive. You certainly get more articulation how it's set up like this. That is a dodgy angle you've got going on there. Should be able to do it though. Slow and steady. Oh, you've lost your trailer. Luckily though, because it's got them chains on it, they are doing their job, look. Stopping it from uh, rolling down the hill. Run up. There we go. The gun does screw in. I didn't screw it in because I'm planning on removing it at some point. Because um, I don't want it to fall off and get damaged. But it does screw on. Come on, Vin. Find your lines. This is the perfect landscape for this thing. You could just imagine it. Back in World War II, looking for the enemy or transporting materials and stuff. Looks so nice. When you get these, the steering jewel rate is usually set to sort of like 50. So you can adjust it on the throttle. On the throttle, you can adjust it on the transmitter. And now we've got full, full steering. So if you add all this up together, it's not a cheap rig, but what you are getting is decent quality. It looks awesome, it drives awesome, and I think it's one of the best you can get, especially this scale anyway. I don't know if I've mentioned where I got Vin Diesel from. The body is just a 1.6 scale doll off of eBay, and if you put 1.6 scale doll head, you'll find loads of different ones. I just thought he looked most like someone from World War II. <laughs> off into the sun.